Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today you're joining me from Road Atlanta in Georgia. We're going to do 10 laps here in the newly released Tatus T318. Uh, this is about as close as I can get to the actual F3 cars that run in the US around uh, Road Atlanta. So the quickest lap there this year was a 118.9, I think, uh, in the in round five. Um, and I'm getting around that in this car. So um, obviously I'm not an F3 driver, so this car's probably got uh, better grip than the actual car. Uh, it's lower on horsepower than the actual car. It's 303 horsepower. This is 280, um, and this uh, this handles uh, probably a little bit better too. So a lot more grippy with this car. Let's get this underway. See how we go. Did a qualifier place tenth out of 20 cars. Uh, should be a fun race. Okay. Oh. Rubbing there straight away. Just coming to turn one. Hopefully these guys hold it together. Oh, accident there. A little bit of understeer. Let's come through the S's. I'd, uh, I'd love to go and actually watch the uh, the Petit Le Mans here in. October, I think it'd be absolutely fantastic race to go and see um, in real life. Obviously, a fair bit of history with this track. Been owned by Panos and then bought by NASCAR. And uh, first, uh, Petit Le Mans was here in 1998 from memory, and then the next year it was the uh, Miracle Le Mans series was started by Panos as well. So, fair bit of history at this circuit. Uh, one of my favourites. Lovely undulations in it. Just love the actual, the total layout of the circuit's brilliant. Really suits these cars as well. It's a shame that this car, this is a, it's a fun car to drive. Not as twitchy as the uh, the others in the pack. Um, still a fun car to drive though. It's a pity that the engine sounds so flat being a, a 1.7 litre blown Alfa Romeo. I prefer the sound of the Cosworth, I just don't like the handling of the, um, the 277 or 75 kilowatt oh, brake horsepower um, Cosworth one. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get a bit of chase here. Lock up then. Run wide there. So I thought it was going to be an accident, then kind of bought me a little bit. Come on, mate, don't pass me. So, uh, Road Atlanta. Um, first race was held here in 1970. I think one of the cool things about the circuit is how little it's actually changed, and it shows kind of how much the, uh, how, how well the layout works. So, 1970, it was built, 1.3 million back then. Um, and the only difference, and I'll show you when we get to it. Let's come up the hill. Oh, run wide. Right wide that curb. Come back through the S's. That's a big accident. I'm not sure what happened then. <laughs> that didn't look too good. Straight into the infield. This is one of the, the most difficult corners I reckon in motor racing to get right that. I never get it right. Okay, so we're coming down the back straight here. So the only section that's really changed over the life of the circuit is is up here. So. Um, this chicane was added in, I think it was 96, 97, I might be wrong though, uh, when most of the major updates were done, just here. So this used to just be a kink, and now it's a, and obviously it's, it's a full chicane now. Um, but a lot of money was spent back then in uh, 96, 97, 98. Uh, I think it was like a 6 million upgrade. Um, new garages, um, 
new new pit lane oh, on the inside there a lot of money was spent on the infield and a, a tunnel as well to for easy access to the infield oh, wasn't concentrating just a very very cool circuit this car's got bags of, of downforce um, it doesn't that section back there as you come out of the S is typically that's a, a quite a hard section to get right um, because the car has very little aero as you're coming up the hill and tends to slide out at the rear. This car you don't seem to suffer that at all. So very high downforce um, version of the F3s, F4s in, the, in this pack. Made up a uh, spot because obviously someone's basically died. Yeah, mate. There as well. It's a um, reason, easy section to lose the uh, the rear of the car. It wants to rotate as you come out of the chicane up the hill. But this car doesn't seem to suffer from that at all. It's, it's quite an easy one to drive, I think. Maybe not so much when you're right on the edge. It tends to become a little bit understeery. seems to become harder to actually load up the front wheels. Right, let's see if we can catch up with these guys. Concentrating. Come on, silly mistake. Pulling away from me, aren't they? Yeah. a little bit closer to the edge then. As you can see the car does does tend to slide once it's you're kind of really pushing it. Understeery there. Should have used more of the circuit then. Oh bags of understeer there. This car actually kind of um, kind of really it's rewarding when you position the car correctly and really kind of um, shows up your weaknesses as well. Oh wow, I actually think I took that corner right for the first time ever then. Getting some um, some drafting happening. So I might have a chance now to make a pass. Oh, nearly messed that up big time. Get a little bit of air then as you come over the rise. Just got to try not to lift. Again, this is a very cool track. I'll leave a link for this one in the description if I can remember where I've where I got this from. I've had this for a very long time. Not a very long time. I haven't been back in sim racing for a very long time, but since I started, it was one of the first tracks that I grabbed. Um, I have to remember where I got it from. But they are, are very competitive here. Um, the cars are set to um, 100 skill and uh, 50 aggression. And uh, as you can see, it's not easy for me. Never gonna happen there. Oh. <laughs> Big mistake then, mate. Come on. I've got a better run out of there. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Tatus, come on. Oh. 
think old mate made contact with me then and went off. Top five, top five. Okay, see if we can break in. Come on, come on. Man, it's a shame this car doesn't sound a, a little bit grunt here. Just a little bit more um, throaty would have been good, I think. I love the way this uh, track looks in the late afternoon or the uh, or the early morning. It really has a, a pretty cool gives it a pretty cool character, I think. We're gonna be side by side through here. I push through. Made it. Typically I don't do that in these cars, don't seem to handle it too well, it's a, it's a little bit easier to hit them in the GT3s and GTEs. See if we can get a podium, hey, come on. So a little bit a little bit quicker. This car is definitely a little bit quicker than um, the actual F3. And I've missed that up big time. That was a huge dive. <laughs> so it's about eight tenths. About eight tenths quicker than the actual um, F3s that run in the US. And it's probably because it feels a lot. Um, well it's a very grippy car, lots of downforce, so I, I dare say that's what's making up for this. Plus, this track might not be spot on as well, because I'm obviously not of that caliber <laughs> of a driver. to fight anybody, he's just f flown ahead. Those guys were having to go behind me then. Pulling away. Okay, it's the last time through the chicane. the pits. I've always thought it's a funny place for the pit entry there. And across the line. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.